<clears throat> yes, people, reality based diets. One more time for your mind. Yeah. Um, today, I want to talk about temptation. And not just temptation in its raw form, right? But, you know, the essence of what temptation is and the meaning of overcoming temptation. Um, basically, temptation often is challenges and lessons. Lessons that we as men especially have to overcome in order to become the kings that we were destined to be, right? Now, once upon a time, one of my temptations, obviously for the same as most men, most young men especially, is glitz and glamour. Let's call it glitz and glamour, right? Um, I'm going to hone in in one of my temptations, right, which was of the female persuasion, right? Now, when I was younger, the temptation was women of a certain ilk, let's put it that way, right? Um, and it was never women with a certain level of intellect, right? It was often lesser, lesser females. Yeah, they may have been on the level in certain other aspects, but you know, the other aspects not so much, right? Because any player of the game understands that the asking of questions, too many questions, yeah, was never ever gonna get you to the cookies, right? It weren't gonna get you in the cookie jar, right? Um, like I'm saying to you, I learned quickly that talking too much, asking too many questions, was not gonna get you to the cookie jar, right? It was often much easier to just either go with the flow, right? Or paint illusions, paint illusions, right? Now, for me, lately, a lot of the illusions that people have been trying to paint for me to walk into. <laughs> like I'm saying to you, even the old me would have clocked these ones a mile off, right? But for some reason, they're still trying to appeal to an old me. An old me, like I'm saying, that me was in his 20s. That concerns you. I made the majority of my mistakes in my 20s. But one of my greatest mistakes is actually one of my greatest treasures, right? And I say mistakes because my, my son is not a mistake, right? But maybe my choice of women was my mistake. And like I'm saying to you, in order to get what I wanted, maybe I learned a lot off of her. Maybe I also played her, who knows? how people feel. I haven't spoken to them people for a long time, right? But within this, within this journey now, I've learned a hell of a lot about myself. Like I'm saying to you, the, the temptation phase of my life is long gone, long gone. Um, in terms of where I give in to it, where the chase, and the getting of is so enticing that I play the game. Nowadays, I ask questions before I ask, uh, before I act. I ask questions either of the person that is presenting me with challenges and illusions, or I ask questions of myself. Like often it's, who the fuck is this? Why are we doing this? 
what's it for? Like, what? Well, like, give me some information before I act, please, please. You know, just some of the questions I like to ask because at the end of the day, I'm a grown man. If I was not doing this shit two seconds ago, why am I gonna do it now? You know? Just questions. Now, also, lately, lately, I've noticed a lot of uh, young men, yeah? Imitating the style, imitating the drip, imitating the swag, imitating the sauce, right? Now, amongst my peers and my friends, that often pissed me off. Because, you know, they're the same age as me, or we are peers, we're in the same category or group. You should have your own shit. But like I'm saying, I am an amalgamation of many men. So if I'm inspiring young men, I love that. I love that. But I implore you, young men, obviously, you're in your 20s, enjoy yourselves, yeah? But learn, like I'm saying to you, every step that you take is part of the learning curve, right? Whilst the aesthetic may get you through doors and walk you into places with many cookie jars, right? Understand that the aesthetic is not all that I embody. I embody a world of knowledge and wisdom that has been learned through my mistakes. So like I'm saying, I implore you, take note of your own journeys as well. Because that's the only reason that the aesthetic matches the interior, yeah? The exterior and the interior match. My walk matches my talk, yeah? I look godly, I look like a king. That's because I have a, a king's mentality and I embody God's knowledge and God's light. And it's not easy. Like I'm saying to you, it's not easy. Like, I've, like recently, I hit a hill, right? That I, I hit a while back. Yeah? A while back when I hit it, it was a struggle to get up that hill. Whereas recently, I flew up here. I'm looking back and there's younger men than me, way behind, telling me to slow down, wait for them, let me catch up. I just kept going because it's not my job to walk amongst young men. It's my job to show you the path. I am the father figure, I'm the father energy, I am the teacher. And I love that for me. And I love that you think that I am worth learning from. I love it. I am not bothered. Like, in fact, I'm inspired to be even greater and show you that, you know, the aesthetic isn't all that there is to it. Embodying everything that you talk is also a big part of it. It's also a big part of the attract attractiveness, the attraction, if you if you like. Um, there's many aspects to life where people do not practice what they preach. And for me, that's extremely important. Now, like I'm saying to the the whole point of my journey is to embody everything that I, I talk, right? I've been a father for a long time. So I've been doing this for a long time. Like I'm saying to you, yeah, I'm celibate right now. I'm calm with being celibate. Like, I was... Um, 
like I said, last year I was doing a job where I was driving all around the country in brand new whips, right? Like, no one knew that they weren't my whips, right? Uh, but sometimes I was in vans and shit. Like sometimes, in, in fact, there was uh, a point where I was working for this um, this company that delivered wholesale foods to to restaurants, right? So I was pulling up in in refrigerated transit vans and still getting the same type of what's the word attention that I'm getting now from. Chung Tings, right? There's no two ways about it. Leng, yeah? I can appreciate without having to chase. And at no point did I chase. What I did was take from it, take the information, right? Which was the, the path that I was on then. Because even then, I did not know that my path was leading me to this level of elevation, right? I didn't know. I just knew that I was trying to get this money and I was trying to get it legal and I was trying to get it for a, a greater purpose. And I knew that anything that was going to deviate me from my my true path and my true calling may well jeopardize all of those things. The greater cause, the mission, if you like. Now... Like I'm saying to you, the, this this whole thing, like I'm saying, I, I said it before, I used to be a player in the game. Now I'm a coach, a coach of life, if you like. I still be rapping, I still be making these beats, but all in all, Teaching, but showing, that's the main thing, showing men how to be men, sorry, no, boys, how to be men, how to be a man, if you like, because it's been lost, it's been lost, it's been lost amongst the glitz and glamour, right, and this isn't to blame anybody, this isn't to point fingers at anybody, there's lots of people who, you know, suffer heartbreaks and they cannot face the the possibility of further heartbreak by trying to recommit to one woman again. Yeah. Whereas me, like I'm saying to you, any other man might have looked at my path, like boom, I spent 10 to 12 years in a situation that ended up coming to nothing. Uh, realistically, should have been heartbreak. Realistically, should have been devastating. Realistically, should have been something that sent me on a spiral of more destructive behavior from my 20s. But it didn't because, like I'm saying to you, man, I came out of lockdown with a mission. <clears throat> I didn't know it was this grand at the time. And at the beginning of lockdown, the mission was vast because I was hurting. I really was. I just never showed it. I never told anyone because I'm just not like that, right? The fact that I've been like this here now shows me I've grown a lot. That's cool. Now, like I'm saying to you, the mission was the mission. And within the mission, it wasn't just about getting money. It was about expanding self, yeah? Physically, mentally. I didn't know it was emotionally because whilst doing the, the other ones, I expanded emotionally because I had to start addressing feelings, yeah? I had to start addressing temptation. I had to start addressing Anger. I had to start addressing how I used my own time. And the reality is, it made me a better man. It got me to this place that I'm at. Or more importantly, it got me to the place that I was at in December, January, where I had to make decision after decision after decision after decision after decision that would affect my life. 
right? Regardless of any other outside influences, my life. Personally, it's, it's been unreal. It's been unreal, right? Uh, not only has it been unreal, right? But like, what may surprise some people I don't think it has surprised some people because you've seen me like and this is probably where a lot of the adulation has come from this is probably where a lot of the um emulation has come from like i'm saying to you man like there's many male obviously like male figures that i had in and around me but also male figures that i didn't really know i, I seen them through a screen same as you that i used to want to imitate growing up because their swag was cool, yeah? Their salts, yeah? Stays. And that made me um, think about this differently. Like, like I'm saying to you, I could have got angry about being emulated. I seen a brother on the, on the bus the other day. It made me proud. I had a little chuckle to myself and it made me proud. I seen another brother uh, this morning. And it made me proud because I was already looking at him ages ago. Like, I think you're dope. Like, I think you're dope. So if you understand that I'm talking to and about you, just know you have my blessing, young man. Yeah. Live your life. Run with it. Do everything you can for your city as well, man. Put it up there. I think that you are one of the ones. Yeah. Now, like I was saying to you, this past six months, if it's not a secret, I've really enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed it. Like I'm saying to you, I love learning, number one. I love learning. I love asking questions. Yeah, that's why my younger self, it was suppressed, it was compressed because I had to exist in a world, yeah, with a limited look on knowledge, a limited look on intelligence, right? Like I'm saying, I still had to use my smarts, but it was a little bit, you know, basic smarts because a lot of the gal that I was dealing with, the more questions you ask, the less you're going to get. Not because of anything other than they was stupid, right? They were stupid, right? So the more you're asking stupid people questions, the more of a problem you become, right? Whereas smart people... They love it when you ask questions. Even if the questions start revealing them, right? They love it. Because they're like, ooh. I think I underestimated you. And it's like, yeah, man. You may well have. But we move. We got more questions. Like I'm saying, I've enjoyed this shit. I've enjoyed the challenges. I've enjoyed the... The hunt. Yeah? Where I was praying in the beginning, yeah? Slowly but surely just switched that shit around. And became the hunter. But a hunter that hunts through hunger, man. Not through greed. Yeah? Like... Hunger is one of the truest forms of desire, right? Because they say desire is is wrong because it's related to lust, but it's really not. There's a difference between desire and lust. There's the difference between desire and greed. Desire often nourishes the soul because you can want things. You can even need things, but to desire them is far deeper, right? So like I'm saying to you, as this has pro progressed, I have enjoyed myself. I really have. I really have. Like knowing the levels of minds that I've been sparring with and just making them succumb to a force of nature. Like I'm saying to you, I'm just a conduit. I'm a conduit for the force of nature. 
the source of nature. Yeah? The G-O-D. Yeah? God gang. <laughs> keep telling you. Keep telling you who I work for. I keep telling you who the boss is. Yeah? I'm just his, his representative, uh, representative, yeah? The conciliary, yeah? The right-hand man, if you will, right? There's only one boss. I consult with him daily. Because my love for him and my ancestors is undying, right? And being shown the errors in my ways, but not only the errors in my ways, but... You know, the mistakes of my youth, be they tremendous mistakes or horrendous mistakes, right? God, my ancestors showed me, yeah, cool, there was mistakes, but there was also lessons. Lessons that you learned from, lessons that you gained knowledge from, lessons that a lot of people have not learned. So if you use everything that you have up here, my youth, you will become a victor, victorious, yeah? The righteous man in a world full of ego. In a world full of ego, where all in all, if I wanted, I could be full of ego. I could act on ego every day, but I don't, I resist. I resist the pull of darkness instead I temper and I balance I use that for myself right I transmute and I elevate I love that shit I love it like I'm keeping it real with you I cannot see a single day ahead of me yeah where I'm not gonna have this mentality and I'm not gonna continue to act in these ways because I embody greatness. It sounds outlandish to say it about yourself, but it's all that I can do to notice it because I understand where I've been, who I was, and the things that I've learned. And to look back on some of the men that I have been compared to the, um, uh, the man I am now is greatness. Like, I've been talking mad God uh, and enlightenment and all that shit in my bars for years well I say for years for the past three and a half to four years now I've been talking it and whilst I was talking it I was walking it right and it was only when I woke the fuck up for real for real that I understood exactly what I had done and the framework that I built for myself to stand upon, yeah? Like they say, imitation is the most sincere form of flattery, right? Don't bite my bars now, right? But same way, jocking the style, the steez, the swag, simple as it may be, but effective, right? I'm flattered and inspired, not, not only inspired to continue, but inspired to continue elevating, to make sure that you boys become the men that I believe you can be. I love that for you, I love that for me, I love that for us, I love that for the world, bro. Because that's what the world needs, it needs more men like me. I hate to say it. Not just men that appear to be perfect, but men that are flawed, men that have been broken, but put themselves back together again and did better. Not just once, not just twice, not just three times, but every fucking time. That's what the world needs. There's too many illusions. There's too many masks. There's too much lies and bullshit. Right? Right then, people, I have been and always will be the reality-based diet. This is an exploration of the Holy Trinity. 
and I forgot the rest of it, right? <laughs> it's early, but the early bird often is the seagull. And the seagull is mashing up rats and everything nowadays, bruv. Seagulls out here, yeah? At home, at land, on, uh, and at sea. Done now, yeah? Peace.